account and log it in, you will see the home page like this. Um, so let's take a look at what, uh, what O'Reilly has offered us. On the top of the page, it is on our radar, which is basically book or video recommended by uh, the O'Reilly Learning Platform editors. And on the right side is your browsing history. You will see here I have uh, I have been reading Big Data Demystified, which is very likely to be the first book I recommended on this show. Um, then you'll see live online training. So basically live online training, as the title suggests, is the uh, real-time uh, training sessions. Uh, they are most likely uh, to be two or three hours long. And you can uh, choose one. Uh, let's, let me choose one of them and show you the process. Uh, you see here, uh, let, me, let me check this one, Building Your LinkedIn Network by Kevin Cho. Uh, you will see here uh, is the scheduled uh, live session time, uh, which you will change to your local time. If you, you're seeing here is 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. Um, it's not actually CST, CST because it actually reflects my time zone, which is in Shanghai. Um, so uh, unfortunately, it's why uh, I haven't been using live online training for that much because most of the sessions are in my like early, very like late time, or even like early morning time, which I can't really take uh, much uh, make much use of it. Um, but most of them are really uh, insightful, and you can see here you have you will see uh, the sh the contents and uh, what the instructor background and the schedule and sometimes they will provide you with your um, with a specific materials that you can read uh, before you attending this live training which will make it much more useful uh, if you sign up this course you will see his add to calendar um, you will have the ICS file that you can easily import to your Outlook or Google Calendar uh, that reminds you before the session opens uh, so since I'm not definitely not attending this one, let me just withdraw from this course, so someone else could attend it. Okay, so last live online training, uh, it will cover a lot of topics from you see here is uh, basically from Python coding to innovation to product management to communication and here again machine learning models and stuff like that. So uh, you will have uh, online session and uh, group chat and session Q&A. Uh, uh, so it depends on whether you have the time to attend these kind of sessions. Okay. Then we have learning paths. So learning paths are basically a combination of uh, books, uh, videos, and uh, other resources that the editors have compiled for this specific topic. So let me uh, click this one is computer vision project uh, projects with Python hands-on you will see here basically um, you will have uh, three hours uh, almost four hours of uh, videos from the uh, computer CV project with Python 3 and then advanced CV projects so basically two video courses combined to into one uh, which are uh, uh, very good for those uh, who wants to learn something from the very beginning or have a very structured understanding of a certain topics. So these kind of um, um, learning paths are usually more uh, tech specific. It's usually around the Python or other programming software, um, but that's not the exa exactly the case. Uh, um, but you can like take your time and look if you have something that uh, that can meet your requirements. And then we have case studies. So case studies are basically industry experts uh, who come in and showcase uh, their specific topics. Uh, so each case study is uh, is around I think it's around one hour. Uh, so for example, the one I clicked is the how Uber used the natural language processing and deep learning. Um, it's presented by, uh, I think it's Uber AI Labs. Uh, AI Labs. So uh, basically, 
natural language processing and deep learning to improve customer satisfaction, which is something I, I would be really interested in, in reading. Um, case studies are mostly from like real world big companies you can see here, Uber, IBM, MasterCard, and other other companies. So the, the, the one I really enjoyed this one, how civics analytics create a more effective data driven. Uh, so civics makes basically the data analytics team uh, that worked on uh, o during work on Obama's uh, re-election campaign, uh, and they use of uh, they talk about uh, because Obama proposed this uh, ACAA bill, and they try to reach those uh, people not covered by by medical insurance. Um, so it's very interesting how they use survey and the reported data to map out these areas that uh, we, they can send out target advertising. So very interesting. Um, and then recommended for you basically are the uh, recommendation engine uh, for the O'Reilly online platform. Uh, but I have to say this is one of the features not really uh, working out, working quite that well for me because um, for the recommendation to work you really have to uh, give uh, let me give more user input and I'm not really sure um, I the data they have using uh, to create this recommendation uh, is really relevant to what I've been reading recently because I've seen this the Phoenix project uh, book uh, which uh, sorry I, I don't really have the interest to click on to see what it's really about but I have seen this book uh, been here for a long long time and I have been reading uh, continuously and I think uh, it's something they really should spend more time working on that. Um, and the one I really re used a lot is the recent editor because uh, part of my habit is uh, each of week I really like to uh, just open this tab and see what uh, surprise that O'Reilly can offer me in their latest edition. Uh, I think yesterday when I tried to create this show, uh, O'Reilly just put like 10 or more pages of books from the Harvard Business Review. Let me just click on one of the later pages. Hmm. It seems they they have been reading, r adding a lot of like 10 or more pages of new content, which, which is great. Um, let me just jump to page 12. Still, I'm not seeing seeing the HBR stuff. Let me check. Okay, so wow! So they have adding like over twenty pages of new books during the last 24 hours. That's amazing. So I, what I'm trying to show here is uh, yesterday I was looking at the recent added, added books and I've seen a lot of the, uh, uh, the, the books published by uh, Harvard Business Review which is one of the main reasons I really enjoyed uh, reading the O'Reilly Learning Platform is because uh, the website is seems like to be really concentrated on the technical side you know you would not be surprised because O'Reilly publish, publishes a lot of the uh, technical books covering like big data Hadoop and Python and you, you will not be surprised on that but it also covers like publisher like uh, let me just do a little search here like uh, it will cover um, books from Harvard Business Review and and see here you have like more than 8,000 books uh, for the, from the Harvard Business Reviews or related stuff and also like public I've been seeing uh, publishers like MIT Slow Management Review so they are more like a strategy side so uh, for me it is very good match because I do not want to see just like coding stuff I want to see how it works and how the business are trying to understand like how these new technologies how they work and how they are creating new value. So that's something uh, really draws my attention these days. Okay, let me just go back 
and see the popular videos um, you know, as the title suggests is like popular videos and you can spend more time looking on that and online tu tutorials is something interesting that I, I think have great potential but I don't think already spend a lot of time working on that yet because it, uh, what it means is basically you will have a video on the top and you will see uh, the, basically the transcript rolling down as the uh, video is showing uh, playing itself so um, they will so they will also show the code the code process and what you will uh, you will see here the structure is this is when start introduction then uh, start using import data and running the code and you, you will see the video at the exact time stamp um, which are very good is kind of working like the data data cam if you are using that surface uh, it's basically an interactive way to show you how to learn coding um, um, but as I said I don't think uh, this has been updated that often and these some of these uh, tutorials have been here for a long time but anyway you know uh, they've got priorities and I'm not I'm really really uh, satisfied with what they have been continuous adding to this library um, okay and trending mm, uh, trending is actually more useful than I thought but uh, because I have a very specific um, interest in what I'm trying to read from O'Reilly so I don't really spend much time looking on that okay let's just go to the menu on the left side uh, and I'll pick a few things for you to uh, really make use of this platform so on the playlist for each uh, book or video or book chapter you can always add them to a, a playlist so you can read them later you can see here I basically have three main playlists it's this one analytic projects with data is those books uh, which provide you code and projects and data so you can play and experiment yourself and business is more on the business side no coding more on the strategy and more often it's on the on the you know the real world strategy not really uh, not necessarily data driven uh, but you know I've been it's not my personal playlist I don't really like have a very strict rule on those and here data strategy is more talking about how to create value with data you can see have connected two or three books from DJ Patel who was uh, the chief data officer of the United States of America uh, so, so he was the basically the first one first CTO of the US government appointed by Obama um, and see here I have um, data strategy and enterprise data executive so because I've been doing like individual consultants work these books are particularly useful for me when I was communicating uh, with the like executives across companies okay and on the other side on the left side you also have history which is basically the browsing history um, list of books or videos you have been reading on this website uh, and they will keep uh, how much you have progress you have been made on each book and topics are tags so all the books and videos are categorized into uh, business data hardware uh, and other tags and once again and this is something that I think already could spend time working on it because I've been seeing a lot of the books wrongly tagged into categories so definitely something are not data could be like tagged as a data books so that's something you will notice if you read more carefully and learning paths we have covered that conferences those are real world conferences and you are if you are registered uh, uh, you are registered user remember you get a special 25% discount to all the conferences and uh, highlights are the personal highlights you've been all the books I've been reading you see big data uh, data mining data science um, and the digital transformation and HBR series so very diverse very comprehensive data uh, book collection uh, very good uh, this basically why I'm creating these videos for more people to know because um, I don't think they, they they spend that much time marketing because uh, it's, it's just not that uh, only the technical books you you can take advantage of 
uh, it's a lot of other things okay um, so that's basically it and from the next week uh, or maybe if I have time I will do this book uh, on this forthcoming uh, week is the big data demystified uh, it's written by David Stevenson It's published by uh, Financial Times Publishing Again, it's not a technical book But it covers a lot of ground on big data uh, analytics and uh, AI um, And I will read, uh, talk about this book in the next show Thank you for watching